the Volibius have very quietly made a circle around us. And that's what they do around the lions. They will know where those lions are quite probably. Well, not anymore, not this group. But if you come around the big group of wildebeest and you see a dent in the side of it or an irregular shape, you can be almost certain that around that irregular shape there will be a lion. Or some other predator, perhaps four cheetah. I think this is very, very entertaining. I mean, I don't know about you, I've certainly never seen this number of animals in one place before. Sun about to set behind us, huge storm in the offing. Tremendous, tremendous stuff. Just going to ease up to the top of the ridge here. And once we're up there, we should be able to see down over the top into the rest of the herd. And from there, we won't be able to go any further to the west because we will unfortunately lose the signal. Now, as pretty as that is, it's not as pretty as the sight that I can see with my eyes. And that is because, as I've said to you before, oops, unfortunately I hit a stump there. That's why they started to run. Um, the camera is exposing for the brightest parts of the screen. And so when you look into the sun, the wildebeest become dark. But our eyes are so clever that we can expose for both at the same time. So those wildebeest to me look a lot brighter than they do to you. Gosh, it's very nice. I am a little worried about the weather, but the last four times I've said that we haven't been rained upon, so I'm just going to keep saying it. In the hopes that I'm warding it off. is starting to cool slightly. It's quite nice. We'll have to start putting jerseys on shortly. I believe Scott is doing that now. Of course, if you're a white-bearded gnu like these chaps, you don't have any jerseys. Yes, R Rebecca, we can absolutely stop. I just want to get over the top of this hill, if you don't mind. Another one minute and then I will stop. Rebecca wants to hear them canoeing. I'll stop the other side of this termite mound. All righty, let's head back across the Juma while we get to the top of the hill. Apparently they have got a sunset to show you.